A red ball A moves to the right with a uniform velocity of 30 meters per second. Simultaneously, a blue ball, which is 150 meters away from the red ball initially, also moves to the right with a uniform velocity of 10 meters per second. Since the red ball moves with a higher speed, it will ultimately catch up with the blue ball in some amount of time. So there would be a collision between the red ball and the blue ball, which in this case happens to be at point C. If we now accelerate B in addition to its initial velocity of 10 meters per second, then the speed of B will begin to increase every instant. The question is, what minimum acceleration should we provide B with such that the collision between A and B is just about avoided? Remember, A continues to travel at 30 meters per second, whereas B has an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. Besides, we would be accelerating it such that a collision with A is just about avoided. Let's see what this would look like in animation. And initially, you can see that A is faster than B. So it is catching up, catching up. But B is also gaining a bit of speed due to its acceleration. And a collision is just about avoided. At this point, the speeds of A and B would be identical. And now, since the speed of B increases above 30 meters per second, the gap between A and B would only grow further from this point on. Now this is as seen by an observer in the ground frame of reference. Now let's watch this from A's perspective. So we attach the frame of reference to A and assume that A is at rest. And we would have to express B's displacement, velocity and acceleration in terms of A's. From the ground frame of reference, A's initial displacement is zero. The initial velocity is 30 meters per second, which remains uniform, so there is no acceleration. From the ground frame of reference, B's initial displacement is 150 meters. The initial velocity is 10 meters per second. And we have to find the acceleration that we have to provide B with such that a collision is just about avoided. Now this is the animation from the ground frame of reference. Let's view the same from A's frame of reference. This is how A views B from its frame of reference. A assumes itself to be stationary and feels that B is approaching it as their gap narrows. And we take it to the point where B almost reaches A. So it is just about to collide with A. The initial displacement of B with respect to A is 150 meters. The final displacement, when B just about reaches A, would be zero since they meet. The initial velocity of B with respect to A would be VB minus VA or 10 minus 30, which is minus 20 meters per second. Now this point is very important. 
in order to just avoid the collision, the relative velocity of B with respect to A would have to be zero just at the instant when they are just about to collide. So the final velocity of B with respect to A just when they are about to meet would be zero. Now from the ground frame of reference, both these speeds at this instant in time would be 30 meters per second since A is moving uniformly with a speed of 30 meters per second from the ground frame of reference. But from A's frame of reference, B would be at rest in this position. Also, the final displacement as B is just about to collide with A would be zero as A and B would just about meet. The acceleration of B with respect to A would be the acceleration of B minus the acceleration of A, but the acceleration of A is zero, so the relative acceleration of B with respect to A would be AB or the acceleration of B in the ground frame of reference. Now we have to substitute this into the equations of motion to find the unknown acceleration imparted to B. If we try and substitute these values into the second equation of motion, we end up with two unknowns, which are the acceleration and the time. So let's try the third equation of motion. As we had discussed, the final velocity of B with respect to A would be zero just before collision. The initial velocity of B with respect to A will be minus 20 meters per second. The acceleration of B with respect to A would be AB, the acceleration of B, as the acceleration of A is zero. The final displacement of B with respect to A is zero as they are just about to meet. And the initial displacement of B with respect to A is 150 in their initial positions. And on substituting, we obtain the acceleration of B as 1.33 meters per second squared. Make sure you exactly understand what is happening from A's frame of reference. B approaches A with a slower and slower speed, which is zero just at the point where they are about to collide. And then B begins to move away and B's speed now begins to increase. The reason is B's velocity with respect to A is in the negative direction, whereas its acceleration with respect to A is in the positive direction. And this causes the speed to decrease until it reaches zero with respect to A, just as they are about to collide. And then B's speed begins to increase in the direction of acceleration, so B begins to move away. When two bodies move in the same direction and they just about miss colliding, then at the point where they just miss the collision, their velocities would be identical. Therefore, their relative velocities would be zero. Also, their relative displacements would be zero with respect to each other, just at that point in time. Mm -hmm.